Hello and welcome back lovely Aries to your collective July 2023 intuitive reading. Aries, this month is a big deal in July and I already can feel your energy is amped up. You know it's time to go. So Aries, this is about the North Node. The lunar North Node will be changing from the sign of Taurus into your sign. Aries, this is the beginning of an 18-month cycle for Aries' dominant rising sun signs and Aries' north node. So if you have any placement here, this is the beginning of some big changes, Aries. This is about your divine path, your divine purpose. This is about being front and center. New projects are here. New journey is here. Welcome in, Aries. So thank you for all of your love and support. I so greatly appreciate all of your likes, your comments, and your support on this channel by hitting the subscription below. We're going to keep a close eye now, Aries, as I am an Aries moon sign. So when you know your astrology and you have your birth chart, you can find these placements in your chart. So Aries, let's start. I'm excited. So Aries, from July 19th, the North Node will move into your sign. It'll be there until March 27th of 2025. You have 18 months. So Aries, this could be starting a new project. This could be you getting ready to take the stage here, okay? Now Aries, your confidence is the kicker here. All about your identity. This is going to be time to launch a new project, Aries. This is about your vision. This is about bringing in expansion. This is about your fate having an increasingly unfavorable amount of fate in what you're doing now. The south node will be on your access to the sign of Libra, okay? So this is about bringing in balance and harmony, okay? But Aries, like I'm feeling, this energy here is a fresh movement that's coming in. So Aries, let's get ready. What is the moon messages for Aries for July 2023? What are the messages for Aries for 2023 of July? This is about Dharma. So we have Karma, Dharma. The North Node has, I've experienced it uh, in my Taurus and my Gemini. So I got a feel of it. It's something that's calling you. You feel the calling. You're like, yes, this is where I want to go. Game on. So you're making some major changes here, okay? And this is about being organized, getting organized, which is great for you. You're someone who's very organized. Gemini energy, and I have Gemini in my chart, so you can have Gemini also as your moon sign, okay? For some of you, you're, you're an Aries sun and your moon is Gemini. This is about your communication. This is the answers that you need are coming. So if you've been waiting on an answer, if you've been waiting for that conversation, if you've been waiting for that teamwork or that collab, this is telling me the twins are here. Gemini rules writing, skills, speaking, publishing, marketing, networking, management. That's what this is. This is about to get your game on. So this is about speaking. This is about speaking your truth, the communication that's going to bring in a resolution. The answers that you need are coming. It will resolve an area of your life. This is about general read. So for those of you who are not looking for love, this is about your business, your dharma. This is about your life purpose, Taurus energy. We have a Taurus Gemini Aries here, someone very similar to me. Welcome in. Prosperity lies ahead, the new moon in Taurus here, okay? So that's the feminine energy and masculine. This is about bringing in something here where prosperity lies ahead, no doubt, no doubt. Venus rules money, love, beauty, abundance, okay? So this is about the bull. This is grabbing those horns by the bull and moving forward because you know this is an abundant energy. So this is a time, like I feel, to get clear on what you're speaking, clear on your thoughts. This is about manifestation, something here about prosperity. Taurus builds in foundations that are built to last long, long-term money, okay? Long-term money. And I need to have faith in those dreams of yours. This is your vision. This is your dreams. 
this is where it's time for you to get ready to make things solid. Solid is the sign of Taurus, okay? Taurus is earth energy and air. We have earth and air. Take time out for healing on this 18 month cycle here. So this could be healing in areas overall where you could have been going through a situation in your life where you have to heal a lot of conflict or you have to heal some, some energy here facing your shadow side, right? Because when it comes to your faith in this situation, I feel your faith is increased. This is waxing energy. You've been gearing up for something big. Like I felt it. You've been gearing up for something big. Okay, Aries? And this is the energy now with waxing energy here. This is about building up on a foundation that is your dream foundation. This is a fated event that's here for you. And faith is favoring you. You are favored, Aries. So there's going to be a lot of healing when it comes to past life karma. There's a, a, a healing of generational karma. Healing, balsamic moon here. So with Venus and Taurus, Taurus right now is in the sign of Leo, okay? There's going to be a retrograde in the sign of Leo with Taurus here. Taurus will be there rare for the next four months. July is when Taurus goes retrograde. And she will be retrograde in the sign of Leo. So there's going to be a time for you to take out in July also to heal yourself when it comes to knowing your worth, right? Do you know you are worthy of this? Do you know that this is your wealth? This could be healing any scarcity mindsets when it comes around money, right? Because Venus rules money. This is about knowing your worth. This is about healing and having that confidence now within yourself, Aries, to know you got this. You definitely got this. You have 18 months to increase your energy on your worth. This is about connecting to self-love. I use self-love healing on YouTube. This is about affirming high frequencies, meditation, downloads coming in. There's a major healing on its way to you, Aries. And like I felt, take time to breathe out during these changes. The energy is intense. The energy is amped up. You could be experiencing these impulses where you just want to go for it, okay? But like I feel, time for healing tells me, July, breathe out, relax, meditate, come back to your center here, okay? Because there's a lot of things that are amped up that are changing. Now, there's going to be a major healing when it comes to your identity, about knowing your worth, knowing your values in a situation. That waxing moon is going to be amped up in July, so like I'm feeling, take breaks, take timeouts. Venus is somebody who lusciously, she lusciously loves um, being in luxury. Take time out during this. You have plenty of time, Aries. So this is like a situation where breathe out. Take a little mini uh, vacation. Take a vacation with even it's in the city. Go to like uh, nature. Get out in nature. Earth energy here, Okay. So it definitely feels like there's a lot of intense moves that will be coming out, okay, for you in a situation. But whatever it is, abundance and prosperity lies ahead, Aries. Go for it. This is definitely taking that leap of faith where the energy is building up now. It's a powerful energy that's going to bring in this liberation with Gemini. Like I feel you could have been uh, going back and forth on a situation where you're wait, waiting for the answers. They'll be here, you will get this clarity and you will know there's something here that you need to face when it comes to feeling insecure around your prosperity, around your abundance. Now, let's get some wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, north node, ascendant signs, for Aries. This is about the North Node in July. So this is going to be basically about the North Node shifting into your sign. It's a big deal. Big changes are here. This is for Aries for July 2023. Ooh, absolutely regeneration. So this is like a volcano, right? A volcano and you see the deep roots that are standing. There's still a tree here that's deeply rooted that has survived. This is like a resurrection. This is like a regeneration, a reboot, um, a redo, a recharging your batteries, a replenishment here. It feels like this is the filling here of 46, which is a 10. 
So there was an ending, a, com a completion in your life that you're healing from right now. And we have yin energy number two. So yin is the opposite of your energy. Yin is trusting in your intuition. This is about the balancing of feminine and masculine energy. Yin is about, July is gonna be a month here with Venus being in Leo, the fire signs, and you leaving the sign of Leo. You're gonna be in an alignment where this is about being in alignment to soul group projects. When it comes to enterprising or working on a situation here, yin energy is coming to that softer side now this is taking a gentle approach balancing the energy when you feel the intense energy trying to work against you remember we don't get to that success unless we take a few falls right yin is learning engaging being compassionate using love doing what you love to do take a gentle kind approach in july here be in touch with your intuition this is love will lead the way right so this is what you love doing Two partnerships, business ships, uh, people that you could be meeting that are coming in with the answer that you need. So this is resolving something here, finding a new idea. You have a soulmate coming in, Aries. So this is a soul connection. We have two here coming into unified love. You have the penguins here, happy feet. I'm seeing happy feet here. For some of you, this is definitely a soul connection, okay? Where you're taking time out to heal. You know, the penguins, they say mate for life. So this could be a soulmate, okay? This could be about love in a situation. Absolutely, that's coming in. The North Node is something here that's going to make you realize here, okay? That you know it's not for you any longer, right? There's a soulmate or a connection here where I feel you're taking time out for healing. So this is about ending a situation, right? Because there's a regeneration. You're getting back up on your two feet here, is what I feel. And you're rebooting. There's a reset here for you, Aries, when it comes to love. Now, this love situation, like I feel in, in this situation, there's something here that you're going to come to where you're going to need to make a very clear choice, a clear conscience decision, and it's time to heal. It could be time to recover a situation. Show me one more. Yeah, it could be time. So take a, a breather out here. This is some intense amplified energy that will be coming in. It's like don't act on an impulse, Aries, right? And serenity, serendipity, or ser yeah, serendipity, number 18. Another nine. So we have nine, ten. We have a five, and we have two. So there's going to be some changes in July. And serendipity, I love that movie by Joan Cus um, John Cusack, okay? This is about the four-leaf clover, prosperity, abundance, luck is on your side. Jupiter has left your sign. It was there for a year, not moved into Taurus. So if you have any Taurus placement, luck is here. This is divine blessings. This is the time is now, Aries, to take charge of this situation. Good luck. This is Dharma, serendipity. This is a wealth code, a new beginning, a new phase. This is about following the signs, the synchronicities, serendipity, things falling into place. There's no coincidence on what's going to be happening here. And like I feel, Aries, this is a time where I'm looking at the water, right? You could be swimming with the turtles here, okay, for some of you. For some of you, Treasure Island lies within you. And you just had this card in the last reading I did for you. It is time to go. The turtle is slow and steady, wins the race. When it comes to moving above water now, that treasure lies within you. The gift is you. This is about coming into alignment with your gifts now. This is about expansion, growth, a new path. It's about amped up, amplification, new journey, new projects that are here. The 18 months that are here are going to be a treasure. Like I feel, the treasure, the gift is inside of you, Aries. And it's time to explore things that you're emotionally very much dedicated to, very calm. It's a feeling of emotionally connecting with water. Water carries memories, right? The tortoise here in this situation, like I feel, is definitely opening up a lot of abundance. Nine is the number of wisdom, knowledge that you have gained throughout soulmate connections. 
Regeneration is where there was a collapse, an ending of a soulmate connection here. And now you are coming into alignment consciously with God, consciously connected, source creator energy here. And 45, another nine, you could be connecting with a Virgo for some of you. This, this is definitely like I feel we have nine, nine here, three nines. So do you have been doing some soul searching? You could have been alone. This is self-reflection. This is uh, esoteric isolation. It's time to go. It's time to move forward. It's time to take charge of a situation that you've been building up for a very long time, like I'm feeling. So this is something bigger, something better. This is uh, your hard work, your dedication paying off. This is a raise, a promotion. This is an experience of a lifetime that you're about to experience here, Aries. And I feel that. And I, we had that card out. We've been getting that card for a lot of us here. Let's get a few tarot. This is for Aries for 2023 for July. Aries, as the North Node enters Aries. As the North Node enters Aries. I feel that you're open to healing now, this connection. There's forgiveness with the yin energy. Forgiving yourself and others when it comes to partnerships or relationships or soulmates. And you're aligning to a very fortunate energy. Serendipity is Dharma. So according to Vedic astrology, this would be the Rahu and the Ketu. The nodes, the lunar nodes of the moon. Look at this, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Airy, victory and success is here. You will be in a spotlight. You will be recognized for your talents, for what you bring to the table, your gifts. You're meant to be in the spotlight, Aries. Let's see what's coming in for the tarot. Messages for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Aries. A new path is opened up here for you. It's serendipitous, or if you say it, however you say it. But fate, it's a fated event. You're aligned to what fates are have for you, what's in store for Aries. Show me Aries overall energy. Collective general message, Aries overall. Aries overall. Show me why is the answer that Aries need? What is coming? What is the answer and overall energy? How is Aries? Yeah, strength, have strength. So the strength card definitely trumps the devil. This is Leo energy right now. And you being in Leo, your fellow fire sign. This is amp amped up. The strength card tells me here, you're back on your feet now, Aries. It feels like you are much wiser. You're getting ready to take a bold step. You have confidence in yourself and you're very successful. You have disciplined yourself here. So this tells me you've been tolerating a lot, Aries. It's a certain level of toleration, eight, right? So things were, I've been seeing the eight, eight also. Two more cards for this. Aries, tower moment. You've had to stand very tall. There's a shakeup, there's a breakup, there's an ending with the tower moment. Like I feel Mars and Scorpio and King of Cups. So we have the Tower, King of Cups. There's the yin energy. There's a softer side of you now. It feels like you are definitely tested the waters in a situation here before. You're testing the waters right now, King of Cups. And it's something emotionally that you want to stabilize because something here has been unstable. You're moving from something that's been unstable and you're moving into something that's being prepared for you. Faith and patience, Sagittarius energy, temperance here, okay? Aries, it feels like you've been tempering when it comes to your anger, something that you were angry about, something here that I feel could have been like an explosion, right? It, it tells me with the tower moment, this was something here that changed and it could have been a disaster how it ended up but it ended up you're regenerating now so this is regeneration this is coming to a point now where it's saying you know there's a divine purpose that's calling you you can hear the calling you know that this is a new path that's opening up for you 
This is about clearing the weeds, getting to that healing energy here of taking out the time to recognize it's time to pull from the root. Get those roots with the weeds out because the angels are guiding you to a new path here. And if you think you have to go over that mountain and it's a heavy burden, the angels are clearing that path. So it's like we can't see the future right now, but we know that there's going to be a way around that mountain and the sun is shining on this. This is about alchemizing. This is about gaining balance. There's a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose here, Aries. And that's where you're being called. And it is a time for healing. You're in your emotions now. The King of Cups is someone who takes control, a parent figure, somebody who's taking control of their family, who's stronger now. You're stronger now. You're wiser now. You're in it. So it's like your stability because you're very loving. This is a, a king, a king of the castle, whether you're a man or a woman here. But it's about gaining balance now and being generous with yourself when it comes to emotionally regenerating, rebuilding on something. So you're rebuilding a foundation here, Aries, is what I'm feeling. Something here broke down. And you've been strong during this time, Aries, very strong when it comes to this. And it feels like whatever it is, whenever, however this is happening, you're about to go for it. I feel with the King of Cups, you've already tested the waters in a situation here, okay? And it feels like you're moving away and you're, you're definitely rebuilding yourself. That's what I'm seeing. What is Aries looking at? What is this King of Cups? What's in the near future? You have somebody that's watching you. They're watching your every move. They're stalking you. And then you have a page. So you have two people here, Aries, okay? The Page of Swords tells me someone's very curious about you. They're watching you, okay? And then the Page of Pentacles is definitely a new opportunity that's opening up. It's like if you left a resume, this is the call back. If this is the answer you're waiting on, okay? You've made some big changes, like I feel here, tower moment. This could be changing one career mindset and going to the next. Something that's calling you. It's time to go, right? One more. Yeah, it's what you've been waiting for. It's time to go. Here comes the news you've been waiting for. Your ships are here, Aries, in July. Three of Wands is something you've been waiting on. And it tells me this is where you're headed. Eight of Cups, it's time to go. So basically, you're walking away from any investment. Because like I feel, you tested the water. You could have had eight years in a relationship, in a marriage. Somebody that you had children with for some of you. For some of you, there are deep-rooted issues here that need to be faced, that need to be healed of abandonment issues, right? This is a feeling here of disappointed with somebody here and you're walking away from this situation. This could be a father figure that you were dealing with, okay? And it feels like the time is now for you to go and that's what you're doing here, Aries. Show me Aries challenge. What could be the challenge in July? Four of Pentacles can be the challenge. This person was very greedy with you, very selfish with you. This person was very materialistic with you. Yeah, and Temperance and Eight of Cups. I feel this is the challenge, okay? It switched over from the Eight of Cups to the Temperance. And this is somebody who was bringing in an imbalance to your life. Temperance, okay? There was an imbalance. There was a lack of long-term vision with this person. Eight of Cups tells me this is like a situation where you've been drifting apart from this person for quite some time. They're at a distance from you. And now I feel it's emotionally to face something here, okay, that you're facing right now. And you're getting ready to make that decision to walk away. For some of you, Aries, okay, it's something you were invested in that no longer works for you. If this is a career or a job, see, there's that devil having the strength to trump this energy. It takes strength and willpower and courage to leave that toxic way behind, right? So the devil energy is here. There was temptation here. There was somebody that was obnoxious with you. It also feels like Capricorn energy, right? This is somebody here who I feel was very restricting you. They bring in a lot of obstacles to you in a situation. This could be definitely around a soulmate when I see this energy. Take it where it resonates. What is your advice for Aries for July? Aries for July. Aries for July. The full card, Aries. That's your card, Uranus. So we have Uranus and Taurus. 
Aquarius, Aries, your energy. It's time to go. It's time for this new journey that begins. This is the hero's journey. You're on your way to a new start here. This is the number of a zero, a reset, regeneration. This is your divine purpose, zero. The full card is trusting the sun. The full card is trusting God, source, creator here, right? Your advice is to break free and not let anything hold you back from this, right? You're here to bring a change. This is to heal generational karma, trauma, time to go. So there's a journey that's beginning and you're at the beginning stages of a brand new start. A big change is here for you. Spirit saying it's time to go for it, right? Nothing holding you back anymore, Aries, is what I'm seeing. Let's see. Two more for Aries advice from Holy Spirit. What's the advice, Spirit, for Aries? Scorpio energy. That's the Pluto was in the south node. You could have south node in Pluto. And four of cups. Yeah, you're no longer interested. You're not the same person anymore. Strength card. Okay, you're definitely like I feel much stronger and wiser now. You know there's a big ending here. Tower moment, Scorpio energy. There's an ending, a transformation here. The Four of Cups is a feeling of you are no longer interested in this situation where somebody here, you're saying no to it. It's, a, it's like closed chapter, closed book. You're on to a new book. You could be writing a book right now. The Four of Cups is a feeling of rejecting an offer it could be dealing with a scorpio you know your worth you know your value of queen of pentacles for some of you could have been dealing with an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn i feel for some of you this is your commitment into your finances your business your project your home queen of pentacles is very grounded very stable very committed very dedicated here like i feel you're dedicated to a business project this is something that you're going to be owning or this is you, you own it. It's like the end of a journey that's here, but you're getting ready to take a big leap in a new direction. It's a new beginning. This new beginning brings in prosperity, earth energy once again. So it feels like you're definitely going to be connecting the dots now in July moving forward, investing in yourself. And it's a lot of wealth around this. What could be the possible outcome? Absolutely, Mercury in Gemini, Mercury in Virgo. Mercury will be in Gemini. I'm doing your reading on the 12th of June. Mercury enters the sign of Gemini. So from there, that point, like I feel, if you're watching this reading now, this is the magician. This is the answers you needed that are here. This is about you having all the tools in your toolbox to achieve great results. The magician energy is skillful powerful manifestation two more and three of cups you'll be celebrating one more and knight of cups yeah for some of you like i feel in the month of july there is a past situation that you'll be revisiting there's going to be a new love opportunity aries like i feel for some of you you will be headed towards fun time celebration and good times while you're in this feeling here, yin energy, you're attracting love, Aries, also. So this tells me this is the knight in shining armor, three of cups. Somebody from your past here that I feel you are connecting with. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But there is a reconciling. This could be reconciling with old friends, meeting old friends. Um, this could be a family reunion for some of you. This could be a get-together. It's like things begin to move forward, Aries, for you in July. I feel that there's something here that you could be revisiting. It could be a Cancerian heavily. For some of you, it's travel. For some of you, like I feel this could be you getting a new set of wills, you getting this promotion, Ten of Pentacles, a family, a new home, a new opportunity that's coming in. And I feel it's time to go for this, right? For some of you, like I feel, you are in a situation where you're on a new love tra trajectory, okay? This new love is going to be a higher level of love. This is somebody that's coming in that's very wealthy, very successful. They could be a Cancerian. This is somebody who's yin energy. They balance out that yin and yang. This is somebody who might be taking you to revisit 
their home situation? Are we visiting their family? Some kind of a good time is in the, in the making for July for you here. And it feels like you are going to be so much in bliss here. This is a place of love and acceptance where you're moving towards here, Aries, is what I feel for July. Now, it's also preparing you for the steps. This is preparation, regeneration, okay? This is giving you that get-go, right, with the tower here, which brings in a rebirth, a renewal that you're experiencing, and we have Venus, which is rebirth. So there's some big changes here, regeneration, and you're evolving past the old way of thinking. Like I feel, you're stronger, wiser, you're ready for this new journey that's here for you, regenerating. Tens are completions. You have one to back you up, zero, one. And I see the path that's moving forward here for you. So take advantage of the North Node in your sign, Aries. And like I feel, it's time to go for it, right? It's time for you to be in your dharma, which is your highest soul purpose. It's what you came here to do. No matter what your purpose is, whatever your gift, whatever your talent is, you're here to share it. And prosperity comes with that project. Have faith in your dreams and don't give up. So I'll see you in the next reading, Aries. I love you bunches.